Of course, the Jesuits claim that the Mass of the Holy Spirit originates with them. Does that surprise you? <laughs> I'm quite skeptical about the claim. No offense, but votive masses for the Holy Spirit are a lot older than the Jesuits. In fact, they're probably as old as the church itself. In the Dominican order, we celebrate a mass of the Holy Spirit, a votive mass from our beginnings, always aligned with a provincial chapter, the beginning of a general chapter, the election of a local superior, the election of a provincial, the election of the master of the order. The practice of invoking the Holy Spirit at the beginning of something important and new is a long-standing tradition in the church. This celebration marks our dependency on the Holy Spirit for our transformation into the body of Christ. For the Holy Spirit to come down and transform the gifts and the people is at the very heart of our praying. The belief that the apoclesis over the bread and the wine and the epiclesis over the assembly becomes the transformative principle that gifts and that people are no longer bread and wine and just people but the body of Christ. The deep belief that both the gifts and the assembly are radically changed by the spirit at our gatherings. For with no Holy Spirit, there is no church. As Christians, we believe that we were all adopted by the Holy Spirit and by our baptism were made daughters and sons of God. We have all been reconstituted by the Holy Spirit. Do you believe? For Jesus dies and leaves us the Spirit, and it is the Spirit that makes the church. For with no Holy Spirit, there are no local or manifold expressions of the church. Particularly what characterizes the Holy Catholic Church is its many concrete expressions in time and in place. The church's religious orders and congregations and societies and parishes and yes, its schools, its educational institutions, are the church. Moreover, it is the spirit that makes us at Aquinas Institute of Theology an ecclesial expression, the body of Christ. The epiclesis that comes down upon us as we teach, as we preach, reflect, converse, pray, struggle to extend ourselves beyond our safer lo locations. That is the manifestation of the church. And too often we relate to what we have understood as a too often amorphous Holy Spirit. Particularly in the Western church, too often we have relegated the spirit to a vague and ill-defined reality some kind of invisible wind blowing where it wills. Yet I would claim that the Holy Spirit is the most concrete realization of the church, the church gathered. The Holy Spirit is the outcome of the church. 
The Holy Spirit is what is made manifest. The love, the good works, the administration, the preaching, the teaching, the pastoral care, and yes, the compassion is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is all the good that you and I are rubbing up against. So let us begin this school year with an invocation of the Holy Spirit, which brings our community to a renewed realization of our particular expression of the church. We say, Veni Sancti Spiritus. Veni Sancti Spiritus. Come, Holy Spirit, and recreate us as daughters and of sons of God. Let that be our prayer today. <laughs> 